Hello Vineyards, it is good to see you today. I am wondering what you think wisdom might be. What do you think of when you hear the word wisdom? Maybe you think of a wise owl. Maybe you think of someone who knows a lot of things. And maybe you think of an old person who's been around for a long time. And they all have a little bit to do with wisdom. But in the Bible, we read lots about wisdom and especially in a book called Proverbs. In Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7, it says, Knowledge begins with respect for the Lord, but foolish people hate wisdom and self-control. Respecting or fearing God is a really big idea in Proverbs. But what does fearing God have to do with wisdom? Well, we are going to hear a story that might help us to understand. It's a story about Oliver and it's a story about crossing a very busy road. Oliver was in a hurry. He was going to football practice, but he was late. His football oval was just across the other side of quite a busy road. Oliver's mother had told him never to try to cross this busy road. But Oliver was late and he hated being late and he had to get to football practice. He knew that his coach would be there, that the other players would be there and that they would be warming up already. So Oliver took a deep breath. <sighs> he looked down one side of the highway and the other side of the highway. And then he waited for a gap in the traffic and began to cross. It was a busy road. Cars were going all different ways. But finally, a gap came. Oliver started to cross. Across the road, across the road, when suddenly a truck, a massive delivery truck, came driving down the roads. Honk, honk! Oliver turned and looked and ran back to the beginning and the delivery truck continued down the road. <sighs> Oliver's heart was pounding. That had been close. He decided that he would try again. So he waited for another gap in the traffic and began to cross the road. Just then, a blue sports car came roaring down the road at a great speed. The driver yelled something to Oliver, who turned and heard and saw and ran back to the other side of the road. And the sports car continued on. Well, this time, Oliver decided that he would try again. He waited for a gap in the traffic and he began to cross the road. He crossed and crossed and crossed when suddenly a massive bus came down towards him. The bus was honking, the driver was yelling and all of us turned around and saw and heard and ran back to the side of the road and the bus continued on. Oliver looked at the roads. He knew that it really wasn't going to work. He was feeling pretty scared of all of these buses and cars and trucks. What was he going to do? And how was he going to get to football practice? Just then, a man came walking down the road. He saw Oliver and saw his problem and he pointed to a footbridge just down the roads. Oliver looked at the footbridge. He knew that this was the right way to do it. He walked down to the footbridge. He climbed over. He walked safely across the footbridge to the other side of the road and arrived at the oval for football practice. Oliver's fear kept him safe, 
And Oliver's fear helped him to do what was right. Oliver knew that his mother had been right in telling him never to try to cross that road. It was dangerous. And Oliver knew he would never try to cross that road again. Fear made Oliver wise. Oliver chose to walk across the footbridge and his fear kept him safe. We know that God is powerful and we are weak. God is big and we are small. God is always good and we are not. And so we are all in big, big trouble and we are right to fear God. The Bible tells us that fearing God is the first step to becoming wise. Our fear will make us turn to Jesus. And Jesus is the only one who can save us. Fearing God is the first step to living a wise life. We're going to pray. We're going to talk to God about what we have learned from Proverbs today. I hope you will join me. Let's put our hands together and talk to him. Father God, we know that you are good and we are not. Please help us to see that it is right to fear you. Thank you for sending Jesus to save us. In our fear, please help us to turn to Jesus and to begin living a wise life. Amen. We're going to have a song now. It's a song that is about fearing the Lord and how that is where wisdom begins. So I hope you enjoy that and I will hope to see you again soon. Bye everyone.